with Open Road Reviews. Brandon's behind the camera today, so you'll hear him chime in occasionally. Hello. <laughs> there it is. Um, so today's video I wanted to tell you, or we wanted to tell you, about the floor plan of the Grand Design Imagine Camper that we have chosen, which is, as Brandon is going to point out, what's the model? It is a uh, 2023 Grand Design Imagine 2500 RL. Correct. Mm -hmm. See, I tested them. So um, we're going to tell, we want to show you like different things in this camper, why we chose this floor pan, plan compared to our old one, which was our um, Keystone Outback, and um, things that we like. So far, we haven't really found much of anything we don't like, uh, but we just wanted to tell you all about, that, all about that. So if you want to see more videos about the Grand Design Imagine, they'll be on this channel. You can like and subscribe and we'll post them as often as we possibly can. So let me start here in the living room. Um, obviously this is a pretty, if you've seen this floor plan, it's uh, it's got a pass through, through the bathroom, and we'll get to that there, but this was the first thing that we were like, oh man, yeah, the we are getting old and this seems awesome. Well, <laughs> that's what the RL stands for in the, in the model number is rear living. Yes, this is so. rear living and this is where we'd be living, right yes, here. Yes. So these are heated massaging recliner seats so there is a handle right in here and then you pop it out and those are made by thomas Payne. thomas Payne, yes and then right here's your buttons and they even light up mm -hmm. how cool is that yes and uh just to, just to point out real quick there is a, a a guard on here that we're going to be doing an extra review on yes uh, so uh keep Pay an attention eye out for to that. that i'll try and link it in the um description yes one concern that I did have, in case you're having this concern as well, is when the recliner's up, is this an issue? People can get through here, it is tight. So just so you're aware of that, um, we did test it with our son, who's quite large, he's a big boy, and he was able to get through here. Um, but it, when it is up all the way, you do have this path issue. Yes, also it. there is another entrance, however, on yeah, this model. Yeah, so it's not a huge deal. Yeah. Um, you'll notice these things are on here, this because we have two dogs, and um, we're paranoid. Because this, you know, it's expensive. So we have the heated massaging recliners. We have the um, cup holder here, um, and then we obviously added the plants. It didn't come with this, but look at all the storage. We started adding bins into these. Yes, there's um, lots of storage. Almost lots. more than we know what to do with now. It'll all probably be filled. It will over we know time. It. it will for sure. Because we did go, we did have a bunkhouse before. Um, we found that the bunks, as the kids got older, we have one that's a senior and one that's going into fifth grade. As they got older, they didn't really use them, mm -hmm. and it just became a storage space. So with this one, since we have one kid leaving, um, we didn't need all that extra sleeping area. Uh, our our youngest. Every time we've been here, it's slept on the couch, mm -hmm. honestly. Well, I will say, as we started looking around at campers, which you should really do, you should really climb into them, get into them, sit down in them, really look at the uh, the materials that are used. And, and I think when we stepped into the grand design, we were really impressed. And it's just the little details. Like, for example, like with these cabinets, that has a lot of space. It's just these little two-tone differences. The, 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 even, even the hardware, you can feel the difference mm -hmm. in, in them, in the materials that you are paying for in a camper. Um, so, yeah, so like as we walked around and we were looking at this, it's just, like I said, those little touches, having the, the arched, uh, ceiling just give you that feeling of a lot more space in here really 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 makes a difference yes a, the, these are things that we definitely you can even walk into a travel trailer and sort of feel it in the atmosphere those differences mm -hmm. um, so speaking of those types of things and back and more storage by the way mm -hmm. you have these cabinets on either side one thing I forgot to mention too in in here in the cup holder you got little USB chargers, which is oh, pretty yes. awesome. Yep. Um, uh, you also have lights up here that turn on. There are also outlets, right? There's outlets below each side of the cabinet too, yes. right? Yes, there are. So that's where the back. That's where plugged that's in. plugged in. 
There's also the blinds, which yes. have the. Can you want to explain so those too, to right? Down, yes, I like nice that. Smooth, That's so amazing, right there. They're slow to roll up, so you don't have that. <sighs> no, thing no, that no more of the like dusty blinds with the ropes and, and the the little tabs at the bottom and yes. uh, like the. And then look yes. at all of these windows. And they are block out too. Though I mean, those things are down there, black like. Yes. Like that that's a solid it black. Dark in here for sure. Yes. But yes, all these windows were really appealing to us. Um we like to camp at a lot of uh campgrounds that have a little bit of scenery and we want mm -hmm. to be able to see it. Yep. Uh these lights are one of the few that are not connected to um so it's these lights and these under lights are not connected to the main ceiling light switch. Mm -hmm. Yep. So those are turn on independently. Yes. And there's just a little button up in here. Mm -hmm. This table folds down. We're going to do a video showing you how to do this because I can tell you right now we have five grown men at the dealership who could not figure out how to put this table down. And it's simpler than you think. So I'm going to do a separate video for that. But here's what got us. So I can move this table. Yes, we like that idea because of us working uh, remotely a lot of the time. Uh, the ability to be able to move that over to the couch and be able to, or, or the recliners over there to work, or being able to work or put a chair over on this side so we can work over there. Yes, that that stuff. Having this table movable is good. Yeah, because we do, we play a lot of board games while we're camping as well. So when he says a chair that's movable, this is the chair that's movable. So yes. this slides out, and then it's storage in here. So I have an extra blanket, a couple extra little pillows in here. Um, so that you can actually take this over and we can be comfortable old people on the recliner yep. playing the board game and the kids can sit on this. Now, the, just slide it right now the slide out itself is on carpet underneath and there are little hooks because right. there's straps that came with this table to strap it down. Now, I'm curious to see how this thing fares over time because it is just a table and when that's collapsed you can make this area a sleeping area those those right there they come on the velcro to the back there they can become the base here however the other thing we're finding is that when someone does sleep on that the cushions are kind of slipping around so we're going to have to try to work out find a solution for that and then like i said over time i'm not sure how this is going to work because i in our old camper there used to be little rails that would go along the side that the table because it had a very similar thing where you could turn the this dinette into a bed but this one just kind of free stands down there and i'm concerned over time with someone sleeping on it that this is just going to get loose so i would like to try to find a way to put extra supports on there that might be a mod down the line anyways that's we'll see but so far we like this whole idea it might not be for everybody it right? is a big bed when you put it, it through. is it, it is. is um the thing in mm -hmm. um there's also outlets and outlet right there and then there's a um usb uh c cable uh yep. Power thing, power source right there. Yes. And then I'm going to put this table back. Okay. Just because I want to show off my muscles on <laughs> Um, And then there's cabinets under here. They go all the way back underneath. And you can, can you lift this up too? Yes. You can lift that up and then you can, the, yeah, the, it's underneath, just, there's just plywood, plywood underneath to reach all the way back. So if something there. gets all the way back in there and travel, you can still get to it. So those are on both sides here. All right, so we've done like the couch area, the dinette area, and um, obviously there's a door here. We're going to mention that more in the exterior video, which I'll try and link out in the comments. But I did want to mention really quickly this mod right here. Um, we have a dog who loves to scratch at the screen. <coughs> and this was a, a thing we actually found it discounted on Amazon because um, the box was damaged. And it took Brandon like a couple minutes max mm -hmm. to put that in. <coughs> Highly recommend this if you have pets that like to scratch it, or kids that like to scratch at the screen. So we'll leave a link in the yeah, description. Yeah, I'll put a link, and then um, when I when I get that video posted, we'll post a link about that because I'm pretty sure Brandon recorded that yep. how to do that. <laughs> um, quickly, I want to touch on all of this stuff. So this is your control panel, and there is an app um, that you can get to do all the same stuff that's on here. But you can see on here, I can control the ceiling lights, the exterior lights, the water pump, the awning. I can take the awning in and out, slide out, in and out. Um, and then this is gonna show me like our gray tank and our black tank and all that stuff in the battery. 
Um, up here is the stereo, and you can see on here we have an HDMI, a USB, an aux, and a headphone jack. You can control the zone so it'll only play in the camper or outside of the camper or both. And then up here is your hot water heater control, and we're going to have a whole video on this as well because we've experienced some things, let me tell you. Um, good thing. Well, good ex things, they're not bad things. They're just learning things. They're learning experiences. Because yes. of hot on-demand hot water heater, it's which a new this experience. Has, is totally new to us. Our old, our old camper was was old. Um, so onto the kitchen area. First of all, you have this super big TV that slides out and angles, and then it has this mystery hole behind here. Um, we're just going to touch on this one really quickly. Brandon got on the forums, contacted Grand Design. Everybody had their guesses, but from what we've been told, this is an access to get to the back. Well, of it's not this. an access. It's 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 you have to pull this off to be able to. There's some out. There are some outlets on the back, so you can pass them through. It's not that's an access. what it is. It's I apologize. So that's that's a hole. In case you're like we were at the dealership, going, "What's that hole for?" Now you can know. We do have a DVD player that we purchased that we're just going to throw in here because this is a smart TV. It does have, you know, if you're on Wi-Fi, but we don't always camp places where we have cable or mm -hmm. internet. So we like to watch old DVDs. Yep. Also, we got that DVD so that we can use it as a projector on the outside because when we get to the video on the outside to explain the exterior, you'll see the pitfalls of this camper with a TV on the outside. Yes. Yes. That was a fun thing. Yeah. Um, lots of counter space, like a ton of counter space, mm -hmm. tons of storage. So in here we've done some like storage dividers. So things are a little more organized. There's all this storage down here, which we're going to see how much we can fill up. Um, so yeah, there's those three, those four cabinets. Now, what one is, thing you're going to notice. What is that right there? Yeah. One thing you're going to notice, there is no room for a garbage can. Mm -hmm. So we found this guy that just sort of hangs on the cabinet and um we can put our garbage in there and it we we will see how this works because you can see that underneath of it is one of our heater vents because that's another reason we like this camper is because we have pets and our old camper had floor vents that i would bend and bend and break the vents when you and step on them and we on. would we would try to put magnets over them and they just were gross so I'm loving that the fact that there are no floor heater vents in there, but they are on the walls and they're in certain places. So we're trying to be creative in our some of these some of these <laughs> things that it lacks. Like I said, a space for a lot of people complain about where do we put a garbage can, and, and so so we'll see if that works. I think that'll work well. Yeah, we'll just have to empty it a lot, which is fine <clears> because garbage stinks and you don't want to leave it in here anyway. Yep. Yeah. So we have the uh, microwave and the vent. There's the storage up here that I can't really reach into, so I have no idea what's gonna happen up there. Uh, we have our stove, obviously, that we can lift. And now we have a backsplash. It lights up, and then it also lets us know if the burner's on so that we don't forget to turn that off. Um, mm -hmm. Here's the oven that we will never use. <clears throat> Maybe, you know. <laughs> This is a very cool feature. So in here is where you can hold all your pots and pans, and then there's these dowels that you can move around to keep them in place. Yeah, that's pretty cool. Um, yeah, and those are the, the massive amounts of pots and pans that I take on camping trips. <clears throat> uh, let's see, we have storage up here. Yes. A ton of storage. This is, by the way, Press of elimination, this is where you have to keep your plates because they do not fit in this cabinet. Yes, there are some stipulations in these cabinets that we're finding right off the bat. For example, we guy. put a little rubber nubbins right there because we found that this thing over time will easily whack this. So mm -hmm. uh, maybe that's something that wasn't thought about fully through. Maybe you know, maybe you could have put something rubber in here, but just know you might want to put something there like we did. We just put a little, I don't even because know. Because our kids there. are going to go whoop and just yeah. throw this open. So this cabinet here is not as deep, right? That's yes. what you're saying? Yeah, like if I take a plate, and that even is... a paper plate like this, I can't. I can't it won't. I can fit, like get it in right? there at an angle, okay. but not like that. Yeah. So this is going to be like cups and silverware and yes. stuff. Um, and we have uh, an outlet right there. Um, those are obviously real plants. Those are GFCI outlets <laughs> as well because we're in the Well, kitchen. they have to be. Yes. Uh, and then there's also this cool roll-up. I do like those things. I think we'll see how handy those are over time. Yeah, because you can wash your dishes and put them here to strain. Mm -hmm. Cool sink. Really deep sink. 
and it even has yes. uh, that, that's detachable faucet. That's high life stuff right there. In the <laughs> We couldn't figure out what this was, and then I, I realized from another video, this is to store your um, dishwashing stuff so that it's not enclosed and can air out and uh, not get moldy. Makes sense. So I can throw in um, a dish soap and a or sponge. Or you can even hang a dish towel from it if yeah, you Yeah, so you really can throw well. a, a dish towel right on here. <coughs> We have this cabinet, which I just have some cutting boards and other mitts in And it's now. weird that they like left that bottom one closed. There's got to be. There's, there's probably like, there's pipes. And there's pro yeah. gas lines. Probably something. there's probably stuff they don't want. Yeah. I got this uh, thing to organize. This has not come in it. It's just an, a Civil War organizer. And then there's another drawer down here. So storage, 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 storage. Um, oh, and more countertops. Yes. So that is super nice. It extends all this way and niceness. Look how easy it is to put down. It is. It's a nice thing, but that is one of those things right there that is a, um, it's just one of those things that you're, as an owner, you're just always going to have to be aware of it because you if you forget corner. that that thing's out and you close your slide out, uh, you're going to break things. Mm -hmm. So you just got to remember those kinds of things. It is definitely more space and um, we will definitely enjoy it. And then we're trying, like I said, we were trying to figure out creative ways, right? Yep. So here's the dog dish because there's a heater vent right there. This was the most obvious place for us to put a dog dish, but I didn't want to put it in front of the heat. So I can put it here. It's raised. And if we have to turn the heater on, hopefully it won't get too warm right there. Mm -hmm. We can just move it easily. <clears throat> Uh, we have a fridge. And over here we have a, 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 a very large fridge. I don't know how many cubic. I'd have to look it up again. But it is, I'm thrilled to have this fridge because in our old camper, we would have to prep ahead because, and we can really only travel about four hours. And I know there's a lot of people and, and this will probably uh, open up a big debate uh, with people and feel free to throw it in the comments if you want. But there's a lot of people that like to go down the road with their uh, LP on and run in the fridge to keep it cold. I am against doing that. I just I just don't think it's right to go down the highway with an open flame. Uh, this is a this is a 12 volt fridge, which is awesome, which means it 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 can run off of the um solar panels that we have on here and we'll have a whole lot of discussions about that stuff down the line. But the other cool thing is that once you hook up the truck to this, the the fridge stays cold from the 12 volt uh, r running and it also has a dial right here and on this dial there is a boondock setting and this is also where you turn your fridge all the way off i see that they've labeled the things that you shall put in these little compartments in case oh, you were wondering i didn't even notice that. yeah there's like a little juice emblem uh, right there uh, uh, and let's be honest with my husband this is all going to be ketchup <laughs> That's not true. That's true. Ketchup and uh, wow, look condiments. at that deep that. Hey, I put my whole hand. Oh my god, that's like my whole arms putting there. This is so clean; it doesn't look like there's uh, anything there. You can that put won't a, last long. We can put a lot of ice cream sandwiches in there. Oh my gosh. So yes, yeah, so we have a giant fridge. When the slide out's in, we'll get some video of that and show you. Mm -hmm. um, you you can still get to the refrigerator. You just can't open it all the way. Yep. And then here on the side, there's a whole nother video that I'm going to be posting. This was one of my first uh, modifications to this thing. Pretty proud of it. Uh, anyways, we uh, will get you watch the video for that one. It's pretty cool. Yeah, if you're like us and collect magnets on your trips, if you're not, it's a good tradition to start. Our kids now buy magnets wherever they go. Well, we also collect um, ornaments. Ornaments for, and magnets. Ornaments for our tree. Okay, so this is the big thing that we weren't sure if we were going to like. Um, we kept seeing floor plans, you know, just the, like, actual floor plan drawings, the specs of the pass-through bathrooms, and we were like, eh, I don't think we want that. I don't think it's practical, all that sort of thing. And then we saw this camper and went, we want this. The there's, layout. There's a couple of reasons why we like this. One is because there are two doors you can still get into the bedroom, no problem. Yes, there are some floor plans that are very similar to this, but do not have another door in the other room. And I think that would have been a no-no if yes. we were if like- we had to, if you had to get through, or if there was even a little hallway, you lose all that bathroom space. Yeah. If the hallway's outside of the bathroom. So that would have been difficult. The other reason why we like this is if we just close this door, which is the bathroom door, 
our bedroom looks huge. Well, that's that's also like we're not like feel like we're in an airplane trying to get changed in a little that's closet. A big one too. Like, like See, there were two big things with a bathroom that we wanted. One, after you got out of the shower, you didn't want to feel like you were trying to get dressed in a very cramped space. And two, the toilet space, mm -hmm. which you know it seems. You don't think about it when you're getting ready to buy a camper. And our old toilet was right up next to a cabinet. Mm -hmm. And, like, nobody, even my daughter, who's tiny, could fit on Well, here, why don't bathroom. you sit down on that sucker and show how, right? Here, I'll even lift the lid. So, yes. yes. There's all kinds of room. Yeah, all kinds of room for activities. All kinds of room for activities. Uh, so, yeah, there is um, this door, and we'll show you from the other side, too. But it just slides very nice uh, and, and and when i think when it goes back in there's like it stops short so it doesn't slam into oh no it did it slammed into there right well not really okay uh, but you um, can have your ace ventura moment like that you can do that <laughs> anyway um. well so but yeah so anyways back to the floor plan thing yeah so this to us at first we didn't realize the value of this layout and these two doors like i said because now, like when we when I take a shower, I can just close this door and it will feel like that's our whole room. And then when we're like, so that means like, yeah, it feels like the whole bathroom is that whole thing now. Mm -hmm. And then so then I can just get out, get changed, do whatever in there. And then same way the other way, if someone needs to use the bathroom and we're in our room, they can close that door and it still works the other way. And then if even if we need to get out, we can still get out our door. So it really is multifunctional in that purpose. And I think that's was a big lure for us is having those two sliding doors and having that versatile, versatile uh, separation between the two. Yep, absolutely. Now, I will say, every camper, and we could go down this, Every, I guess everybody has a place that they like to sweep things under the rug. And I'm going to point out, uh, Grand Design did a really good job on this camper. They really did. But I wonder what they did under here. So... You can't even see it because it's not really that bright in here, but behind here um, is all of the electrical because on the other side is the um, the electrical control panel right here on this side right here. You'll see it right there. So that is the that is that is everything and and so to me, water and electricity don't mix. It seems weird to put all of the the brain of the, the the camper right under there and it is kind of a rat's nest and their solution was a thin piece of plywood to they kind could of have at least like brought it all the way up so you couldn't so, see anything in there but yeah i am this is a head scratcher i am going to improve this because it can be better and that's just a trade-off here like i i feel like that could be designed better and it just seems like that was the everything was swept under the rug there and it was like okay this what do we do this is the button up part of it so like i said grand design did great but that seems like a shortcoming that they might need to like reconsider a it's little a good bit. place for your air freshener yeah. though so speaking of things that they did design better though is the shower yes uh as you can see there's room there's room there's room there's room i am not that tall but uh brandon is. well do you want me to stand yeah, in it yeah, so you can... throw brandon in here um <laughs> all right. don't know? mind me okay all right hi everyone you are 5'11"? Five 5'11"? Eleven? <laughs> five eleven. Yes, that's exactly how that goes. No, come on now. I'm just joking. <laughs> right. But yeah, you can see how um, much room he has. You're 5'11", right? Yes. Okay. Um, but and you're in shoes right now. And I'm, I, so. am, I am a big guy. Yes. No. So there's tons of room in here. So this was definitely an upgrade from our previous. Now there's also this thing. And yes. um, I had seen other uh, Grand Design owners that had complaints about this. We will, I guess we'll have to see over time because they, some of them are saying that it, when it's closed, it can come undone easily while they're in the shower and sh shoot open while you're taking a shower. We haven't had a chance to experience that yet, so we'll have to let you know down the line if that is a problem, but we shall see. Mm -hmm. um, and then we decided we didn't really want to put holes, any more holes. We're trying to avoid putting anything into it, so probably go command script strip crazy on mm -hmm. things in here. So we decided to go with 
That like, toilet paper toilet stand, paper which stand. I need for some toilet paper in there. I threw it all over there. <laughs> um, but yeah, this is a just a toilet paper stand, so we can move it wherever we want. This did the camper did come with a toilet paper holder that you can install yourself. We just decided against it. Yeah. Uh, you do have your porcelain throne there. Yes, it is porcelain. Yep. Um, yep. Super cool. It's obviously still winterized. Yeah. Then there's the storage here, which I don't think the video is going to do it justice. This goes okay, my... all the way back in here. I know you're going you to see? like another dimension. There's my arm all the way in there. <laughs> so, I, I mean, these towels are just pushed up to the front. I could fit a ton of towels or whatever I need in here. Um, and it you, does have this little lip, so stuff isn't going to fly out. Now, you actually don't like that, right? Like, you didn't like that no. open cabinetry when I think when we were first looking for cabinetry. My, my concern was I wanted a lot of closed cabinet space for the bathroom because it felt like everything ends up in the bathroom. But I think that's just the layout of our old camper. Now, it also doesn't come with any of the bigger fans in this one. I get, you can upgrade them, I suppose. We did upgrade uh, and have the... Um, the uh the the vents up above so that that the max uh, air right yeah the the max air vents so that these can be open when it's raining uh and not get anything in here yeah so there are some cabinets right here not a ton of space but you can fit your happy camper <laughs> that's important and then of course you know there's all this counter space right here we've got a little medicine cabinet but not not so little this is decent sized then of course you have this, and then I just want to show what it's like when this door is closed inside the bathroom. So okay. Come on in. Sure. These bands are super durable. Got a nice towel rack right here, so you can close the door, and then you still have all the space. Like I don't think you're gonna be able to comprehend how much space it is until you actually get in here. Because we watched a lot of videos, and it didn't do it justice. No, it doesn't. You have to get in this bathroom. Yes. Yeah. And then, granted, you don't spend a lot of time in a bathroom, but... but When you need it, you want it. I will say, for the years that I've been in the the, the, key, out, the, the Keystone, uh, the Outback, that I, Michelle knows, even wherever we went camping, I still made the trip to, the bathroom, the, trip to, to the bathroom with the toilet the paper. The camp bathrooms every time. Yeah, and, and because of that. And, I, and then I didn't like taking showers because it was... I don't think anybody took showers but me in the camper. Really. Yeah, I didn't well, that's because really like our kids are gross. Yeah. Um... So now we're in the, the bedroom. Um, not a ton to show you here. We have the pocket door again, just like the bathroom um, right here. We have a full, true, clean bed. Mm -hmm. Now we have a second mattress because we're like princess in the pee here. Yeah. So there's the mattress that came with it. And then we have this um, four inch memory foam mattress. Oh, and we were concerned that having another mattress would, would cover the, cause there's little vent, there's little cubbies in the corners there, which we'll get to in a second. But we were, we were worried that they were going to cover them and that's not happening. Yes. So if you want to add another mattress on here, if you are like us, the mattress that comes with it is okay. It's very firm. And that is not for me. I have a bad back and I needed uh, something with memory foam. Mm -hmm. So we went with this. Now, it also lifts up, right? Do you want to show that too? Um, now, underneath it is just some some camper, some of them do have pot, like heavier duty. This is just particle board up under there, but it does have, it's on actuators. And then in here, you can see that there are, there's that are sliding, there's a sliding drawer above and there's so much space under there for whatever else you might need I have a feeling this is going to end up being like dirty laundry or something like that or yeah. I'm not 100% sure but probably maybe even our son's um stuff cuz he doesn't have a dedicated sleeping area. Yeah. Um but yes, that is very handy. And then you have closets, you have these on both sides with hanging. This is hanging rod up here. Found these cool things at Ikea to hold our shoes because there isn't really a place to put shoes around here. We used to have a, sh a hanging shoe rack and that's not an option. We have drawers here and here full of dirty socks. And there's another outlet right down below. <laughs> yes, there's an outlet down right here. Down there, which is where I've been plugging in a CPAP machine. There is also an outlet and a, what else, a USB it's and a, a USB. It's a USB and a C cable right yeah. here in this cubby. If you can see it, we have outlets, and then um, looks like we have a charging cord right here. So you can see that. And there's one of those on both sides. That's been great because I can throw my glasses in there and throw my, my phone into charge and just lots of space. This is like a padded 
headboard situation. And then if you see these lights, they move. When you first turn them on, they're blue. And then they turn to regular color. And you can bend them wherever you want, which is fun. <laughs> and I also like this material right here. It's very soft. Um, hopefully it's durable and doesn't rip over time or anything like that. But I, it really makes a difference when you're lying down, not hitting your head on anything mm -hmm. like that. Which is something that we had experienced in the Yes. Outback. So like, for example, here, I'll show you here, take that. And if I'm, I'm lying here, you can see I'm 5'11", and I'm, I'm still on here. And like, like I get up, I'm not going to hit my head or anything like that. It's, there's a lot of room for that. And that's a big deal for me, at least it is. Mm-hmm. That's, I think it's a big deal for anybody. Yeah, you can keep you don't feel claustrophobic in there. You're just going to take a little nap yeah, now? Yeah, you can keep filming. All right, I'll keep filming. <laughs> Up here we have more storage, just like um, like the uh, living room area. So we have that storage. Over there is my hanging closet. Yeah, I'll be banning away from that. Yes, please ban that. And then um, two drawers over here. And I have steps over here i'm not sure why there is a step um i, I think it's for what all the equipment underneath yeah i think it's room for that but there There's is another, another outlet, outlet down there. there is also a safety exit emergency exit right there Sick. yeah so we have lots of forms of egress and then we have mounted our tv and we will have another video on how to do that and what that entails yes doing. this is our old tv so it has a dvd player in it because you know Love that old technology. I'm gonna close this cabinet door because that's gonna bother me. And then, like I said, you have your inverter and all your your circuit panel and your fuses are all down in there. The fuse is down in here. It has a nice. It has that nice feature where um, if a fuse is going, there'll be a little red light right next to it to indicate that it is broken. Um, and then, of course, we have a vent there. This is a light switch for in here. And then this is the control for the heat. The, this is the control for the uh, air conditioner and heater and everything right here, mm -hmm. um, it, which is surprising that they don't have it up front, but this is where you control all that stuff. Well, that's good because I want control over it. I don't want no, the kids fine. touching it. And you do have a vent in here as well? Yes. Um, and then this oh. is your second door? There is. And also, uh, one of the things I will mention, which was a bummer, is that you would have thought that the, there'd be a speaker back in here. Yes, there is no speaker in the bedroom area, which is is okay. Like no, it's it, it kind of stinks. We like to listen to music at night. All the speakers um, are up in the front. Part yeah, they're in the front or right, outside. The rear or whatever, the living area. Yeah, it gets confusing. Yeah. Um, and then we'll show we'll have another video about this blackout shade that we put on the door because I want it to be dark in here, so we wanted to add that. Mm -hmm. um, I think. Oh, is that it? Yeah, that's our... There's so much in here. Well, so much to see. I, that, that's our first tour of it. Like I said, we've had this camper for a couple... couple months a, now. A month now, and we we're getting ready to go on our first trip with it, but but we've had some time to start messing with it. We've had to, had time to sleep in it a couple nights, and we're really looking forward to getting it on the road and seeing uh, how that goes. I guess the only other thing I would touch on is, is grand design. Like I said, when we went and looked for campers, as you walk through them, you can just just pay attention to the craftsmanship and you can just see the materials being used, how well things are put together. And I just think Grand Design's doing a, a really, really great job uh, at it so far. So far. I mean, we're, we have, like I said, we haven't gone on any maiden trips yet, but I am already happy with this thing. You know, one thing we could do is put the slide out in. Yeah, we could do uh, that. Can you move the dog dish and we'll, we'll do that. So, as mentioned before, you're going to want to make sure that, that that countertop is down before you do this. And um, Actually, you could even do it from the app. You can, but I don't want to wait for you to load that up, so uh, we're just going to okay. do it from the thing. Okay. Ready? I'm ready. So. That's out. Oh, oh, yep. Now show, see how it's kind of coming in over there, and that's where you wouldn't want your uh, the countertop up. The countertop. Up. Another thing to note that we realized: make sure there's no little stones or anything on the floor because yes. it will scratch the floor. Which we had already had happen. Yes. So you can see right here, it's closed, but I can still get into the fridge. That if is a big importance. So if you're on the road. 
and you need to stop for lunch, we can still get in here. Yes. We just have to come through the front door to get our snacks, and we can still sit down and have lunch right here. Yes. We could even cook still if we wanted. We can cook, we can eat, and we can go up in the back and take a nap. And we, then that's the great thing is we can go out to the other door, get in, take a nap, and use the bathroom. Yes. It, it, it's a little inconvenient to have to go through there, but I know in a lot of campers, uh, it, these are things you should be thinking about too, is what your accessible accessibility is with it shut. Yes, because that is two things that I will note with the Outback that I did not like. One, we had an east to west bed and um, I had to wake Brandon up, make him get out of bed in order to use the restroom. That was crazy annoying because um, I also had to roll over two dogs in the process. And the other thing is because of the bed in the Outback, if you were parked and not level with the slide out out, you could not get on it. So the fact that we can park, eat, go in the camper, not even with the slide out out, that's a big benefit for us. So I think that's it. Um, if there is anything that we missed that you would like to see, go ahead and leave it in the comments and be like, hey, can you show me this thing? And we'll show you that thing. Um, and any questions that you uh, want us to answer, we'll try our best to help you out. But I think for now, that's it, right? So thanks for hitting the open road and we'll see you.